Good day to you, my friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. Today, as we consider the writing of the Apostle Paul, he said to Timothy in 1 Timothy 5.21, I charge thee before God and before the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels that thou observe these things without preferring one before another, doing nothing by partiality. Now, the context has, of course, some particular details that we don't have time to discuss today, but the bottom line is this, treating people in a manner that is proper, right, and would be the, to quote a, a phrase, the Christian thing to do. Treating others as Christ would treat them. The Apostle Paul, writing to the church at Corinth, dealt with this particular problem in that church. They were in there, clicked up inside the church, the rich and the poor and the in-between and they weren't treating one another properly nor right as, a, as persons ought to be treated in the church. It is, it is important for us to realize how that we will be viewed at the judgment seat of Christ for how we have treated others. One person once said that the, that the measure of man's character is how he treats someone who can do absolutely nothing for him. The story is told of Christian Herder, who was the governor of the state of Massachusetts. He was in bid for re-election and was on the campaign trail, and at the end of the day, he found himself at one of those chicken dinners. He was starved and picked up a plate, and as he was making his way through the line, he got to where the lady was serving chicken. She put a chicken on his plate, and he said, Ma'am, may I have another? She said, I have been instructed to give only one per person. Uh, this kind of run on his nerves a bit, and he threw his weight around and said, Ma'am, do you know who I am? I'm the governor of this state. To which she responded, Do you know who I am? I'm the chicken lady. Move on, sir. The bottom line is this. We, realize, we must realize how important it is to treat others the way we would desire to be treated. Think on these things today, and as always, have a great day.